Your makeup's good. Okay guys, so let's just jump right into this tutorial. I am beginning by priming the eyes using the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Eye Primer. And I am just softening this all over the lid with my middle finger. Next, I'm taking the MAC 224 brush and Brulee Eyeshadow, also by MAC, and just placing this all over the eyelid. This is going to act as pretty much our base shadow so that everything can stick and blend nicely on it. Next, taking the Kiko 200 brush, which is a nice white fluffy brush that tapers up a little bit. I'm taking the MAC Blackberry Eyeshadow and just placing this through the higher portion of the crease. This is going to act as our transition color so that the black can blend really nicely into this and make it sure that it's really nice and smoky. Now using a Morphe M412 brush, I'm taking Max Beg For It Into The Well eyeshadow, which is an extremely intensely, <laughs> extremely intense black eyeshadow and just placing this through the crease, making sure that it is nice and smoky. It is very black, very pigmented. And I'm going back in with that MAC 224 brush just to make sure that the edges are nice, softly blended so that it just gradients into that Blackberry eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking the MAC Mixing Medium Eyeliner and placing this all over their eyelid. This is pretty much a glitter glue. This is gonna act as our adhesive so that once I place the glitter on top, it just sticks right on. And for that glitter, I am using the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow in the color Moon Spoon. And I'm using the MAC 252 brush to pack it onto the lid. If you guys know about Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadows, you guys know that these are extremely glittery eyeshadows. They are perfect for this kind of event for a cheerleader who needs something that's going to be popping, you know, even in the air because it is, it is stage makeup and they are flying in the air. We need everything to show up and pop. Next, I'm taking the MAC Reflex Pearl pigment, which is pretty much a glitter, like a very fine glitter um, in white and I'm using a MAC 239 to pack it on and I did also apply a little bit of that mixing medium eyeliner just in the inner corner to make sure that it sticks nicely and lasts throughout their entire performance. Now once I have all of that done I am going to be doing their eyebrows and for their eyebrows I use concrete eyeshadow. Um, it is a nice brownie gray toned. I like more gray tones for the eyebrows and it just looks a lot more natural honestly because a lot of people tend to use warmer tones for the eyebrows I like to use something a little bit more gray tone because it just looks a lot more nat like natural and to fill it in I'm also using the MAC 266 brush once I've had that I am lining their eyes and for their eyeliner I'm using the MAC boot black eyeliner which is just a liquid liner that I place on the back of my hand and I am applying it with a MAC 263, which is a nice synthetic liner brush. It's very skinny, so I can get a nice defined line, especially you need something liquidy when you're using glitters because otherwise it looks really chunky. Next, I'm just taking a MAC wipe just to clean up underneath their eyes all that fallout and get ready for the foundation. Um, first, I am priming their skin using the MAC Natural Radiance Primer. I love this primer because it just makes all the makeup last longer and makes the foundation look very nice and dewy. So I apply this all over their skin and next I am taking a mixture of Makeup Forever HD foundation and the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof foundation. I need something that's going to be able to last long. These are athletes and they're constantly flying in the air, tumbling, doing all their acrobatic stuff and their gymnastic stuff and I know that they sweat so we need something that's going to be long lasting, waterproof but stay flawless. For that, I am using both the MAC 159 brush and the Morphe G3 brush to apply their foundation on. And it just makes sure that they are nice and flawless. Next, I'm taking the MAC Concealer Correct. This is the Studio Finish Concealers in a Concealer Palette. And I'm just using the yellow and the pink kind of to highlight using those same foundation brushes. Now, I'm moving on to the highlight and contouring part. So I am using the MAC 135 brush, which is a nice, big, fluffy paddle brush. And I'm using this to set both their highlight and start contouring their face. And for their contour, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, their contour palette. And I make sure that they are nice and sculpted and they just look absolutely fierce, honestly, because, I mean, it's my work. I need to make sure that they look on point all the time. After that, I am just going to be 
pretty much starting the bottom of the eyeshadow. And with that, I'm just taking the MAC 239 brush using Blackberry eyeshadow just to start smoking out the bottom of the eyes. This is gonna kind of bring in everything together, make sure it's nice and smoky. Going back into the skin, I am taking the MAC 133 brush and the MAC, not the MAC, the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm using both Champagne Pop and Pearl. I first place the Champagne Pop all over their face on their highest points. And then I just go on the tops of the cheek with a little bit of Pearl just to make sure that they are nice and highlighted. And next, I'm just filling in their waterline by using the MAC Defiantly Black Eyeliner. It's a Pro Longwear eyeliner, so it lasts all day. And I just smudge it into their eye. Apply their lashes as well. For lashes, I use the Cherry Blossom number 74 lashes. And I use the House of Lashes glue. The House of Lashes glue is really good. It's very strong. It lasts a lot longer than most like lash glues that I've used like duo it will stay on all day if you apply the good amount of um, a good amount of product because if you apply too little then it's just gonna come off but these are really pretty lashes and I just pack it on and make sure that it stays on all day and I use that fan that she got to kind of dry off the glue while it's on there and to finish off I'm doing their lips using the Stila liquid lipstick in a red color I am not sure exactly what the name of this one is I'm sorry guys but this one they did bring it's their own personal lipstick so I just use their lipstick they, they always bring me because they do take it with them to touch up and I am just securing the lashes by adding a little bit more lash glue and spraying them with a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter spray just to make sure that they last all day and that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching please remember to like this video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment telling me any looks that you guys may want me to do in the future i really hope you guys like this video and until next time stay fabulous